Janice, you are so awesome. Thanks for coming, sweetie. Oh, of course, Duffy. I mean, if you win this match, you'll have a perfect season. And you know what else? Mm -hmm. If you win today, we can finally have sex. <laughs> really? If you know what I mean. Don't get me excited. <laughs> Not in this outfit. Hey, hey, no. come on, put a sleeper hold on that boner. Get over here, listen. <laughs> I don't want to put any pressure on you, son, all right? But the entire championship is riding on your shoulders. You gotta win, we bring it home. I never won anything in my life, Duffy, except one of those crappy little fast food scratch wins for a free soda. But you know something? I lost it on the way from the car to the Don't be like me. Don't let me die a tragic old loser, all right? Get out there and win and have a good time, son. That's the most important thing. From Frankfurt High School, 9-0 and this season, Duffy Hakatani. <laughs> Duffy's opponent is the president of the science club at neighboring Brooksville High, Eddie Kapishni. <laughs> Oh, this dude is a tank coach. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's a freaking science dork. Look at him. Oh, look at all those muscles. Oh, ah, Duffy, those are beach muscles. It's all fluff. You got tendon strength, all right? You're stronger than me. Get up there. Have a good time. Oh, Gosh, I haven't been this nervous since some athletes contest. Oh, yeah? Well, you better be nervous, because I'm about to kick your ass. <laughs> May the best man win. Or as they say in Latin, Lise optime winke wiru. Oh, yeah? Well, winky binky this science dork. Oh! Come on, Duffy, don't let this science dork get into your head. Kill this science dork. Come on. There you go. There you go, Duffy. Here you go. You're going down! You like that? scientifically proven a body at rest stays at rest. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm about to scientifically prove your ass! Hey, <laughs> coach, he's wearing me like a fanny pack! Time! <laughs> get over here, son! Get up and get over here! Get over here! You look like a fool. Stand up. Get here, listen. I didn't want to fill you in on this, but let me paint a picture for you. Last night, I'm sitting on my toilet with a shotgun in my mouth, and I want to ask you, what do you think's the only reason I didn't pull the trigger? I'll tell you why. It's out of the hope that maybe, just maybe, tonight, you'd win the championship. Don't kill me, Duffy, and have a good time, son. That's the most important part. Hey, hey, Duffy, don't forget. <laughs> You know, you're exhibiting typical Napoleonic tendencies. Get out of my head, dude. Get out of my head. And that sounds like a paranoid delusion. Oh, well, yeah? Get ready to paranoid delusion your ass. <laughs> Do something, Duffy. Listen, I already wrote my suicide note. Don't make me sign it. If my calculations are correct. You're about three seconds away from severely spreading your left tricep. Ooh, big toxin. Ah! <laughs> and now for the piece de resistance, the pin. No, man, I can't lose. No, dude, you can't win. You don't get it. If I win, I get to actually have sex. I've never done it before. <laughs> wow, neither have I. W will you tell me all about it? You got it. All right, grab my right shoulder. Oh. In your face, man! Look at the size of you, and I beat you! I'll call you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, sir. Hello, Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I am tuckered. Good night, National Security Advisor Condoleezza Rice. Sir, what were you doing with that bag? Oh, the, uh, the bag, just, uh, you know, just uh, tidying up, just cleaning, tidying up. <laughs> Sir, you cannot go to Afghanistan. What? Oh, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Afghanistan? You're funny. <laughs> Who's going to Afghanistan? Who said anything about that? <laughs> you can't stop me. You can't stop me. <laughs> I don't know if you checked out my driver's license lately, but I'm the president of the United States. I go where I please, right? And I'm tired, bone tired of sitting around talking about kicking ass. I'm gonna go over there and actually kick some ass. So you are the commander in chief who are kicking some ass. Son, Lisa, check out these here boots. These boots look like they got any ass on them. Go ahead, give them a look. Any ass? No. no. No ass on these here boots. So I'm gonna go to Afghanistan and kick me some ass. Here's how I'm gonna go down. I figured the best thing to do would just be to drop me right into Kabul. You're planning to parachute into Kabul by yourself. No, 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 Condoleezza. Shoot, any fool can tell us a two-man job. That's why I'm bringing WWF superstar Triple H with me. <laughs> well, you know why I brought you Triple H. Because I'm that damn good. No, and also because I speak 30 different languages, including Afghani. That's right. And I brought you because you're a tough son of a bitch. That's what I need on my back. Mm, well, the game's come to play. All right, now, did you take care of everything before we left? Oh, yeah. I made a few calls. Prime Minister of Pakistan, Yasser Arafat, the King of Saudi Arabia. And I think I've put together a pretty solid post-Afghanistan coalition to help us look at the next phase of this conflict. Not just from a geopolitical point of view, but also from an ethical, human perspective. That's great, but I meant did you pee before we left? No, I'm good. You ready to do this, son? Sir, I am ready to roar. Let's do it. Open it up, uh, sir. We're, uh, we're over Canada right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're next! <laughs> Did you see how I popped that little bitch? Bam! I'm the president of the United States of Pain. I'll tell you what. What's the name of that guy in Iraq that your old man couldn't take care of? I don't remember. I think he just used to call him douchebag. Douchebag, you're saying. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go show up your old man, head over to Iraq, and take care of him? That's a fantastic idea, H. I appreciate it. Pilot, turn this piece of crap around. Hey, have me another one of them breakfast burritos. <laughs> It's going to be a hoop. A letter? <laughs> for me? Ah, uh, uh, Triple H. That letter's for me. Let's start playing six, six. Don't go, Steve Austin. What are you doing here? I'm here to take that letter from you, because Stone Cold Steve Austin said so. <laughs> but that's for me. What? I said that's for me. What? The letters. What? But the what? The what? 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 Now, hold on a second. Hold on. Damn earplugs. <laughs> Pardon me? I said the letter's for me. I don't think it is. I'm the one who's supposed to be on Mad TV. I'm getting the invitation, not you. Please, let us. Get off these letters, man. Give me these letters. I'm going to be on Mad TV. Hands off him, you trailer trash. If anyone wants to see Stone Cold Steve Austin open up a can of whoop ass on this chick in a cloak holding a cake, give me a hell yeah! yeah. Hunter Hearst Hemsley Potter. 
Well, Triple H, Potter, I haven't seen you since SummerSlam 2000. You've grown since then. Happy birthday. Thank you, but, uh, do I know you? I'm Stephanie Weir from Mad TV, but... You know all about Mad TV. Uh, no. I don't have cable. So you haven't gotten any of our invitations? No. Well, well then, here. Dear Triple H Porter... <laughs> You have been invited to join the cast of this evening's episode of Mad TV. Wow! Well, are you game? Oh, oh, I'm the game, and I'm that damn good. <sighs> well, Triple H Potter, follow me. Mad TV is a magical place, and to get there, we just go right through that wall. Just close your eyes and believe. Oh. Hey. Crap, that hurt. Oh, you know what? That, that door works just as well. Let's go that okay. way. Hey, can you make me fly out of here? Sure. Anymore. 